Hi, uh, my name is Nishche Malvun. I'm the director, co-screenwriter and co-producer of Solipsism. Uh, I'm originally from Bangalore, India, the garden city turned IT city of the world now. Uh, and we filmed Solipsism on location in our ex-rented property in London, United Kingdom. What were your inspirations for the film? My inspirations really were to try and make a film about mental health that was a little less stereotypical to some of the works I've seen. Um, it was also a very personal film because it was um, almost about a mental health struggle that I had myself in the past and kind of me being my own demon was the idea behind it and that's why Solipsism was born. Um, also, solipsism was something I wrote when I was uh, 14 years old uh, in India. So it was pretty amazing to bring that back to life with um, my wife, who's a co-writer, 13 years later. And how was the production and what's it like to film in your country? Well, the, the production was very good. I was very ably um, supported by a crew. Um, our, our crew is very diverse. We come from different parts of the world. Um, but yeah, we, we filmed it in, in London. It, the constraints were pretty pretty much non-existent, except the budget, which I think all independent producers and directors will face. Uh, this was a completely self-funded project uh, on a shoestring compared to some of the other works that have been uh, made. So yeah, other than the budget, um, Probably the constraints were less. We worked with a with a very good crew of actors and professionals, and yeah, it was it was fantastic. And for you, what is the main role for cinema in society? This is a very uh, loaded question, to be honest. Um, I think cinema has got so many so many different functions that you know I'll try and pinpoint a couple here. Coming from India, um, I was. I was not a fan of the cinema that I watched in India because I felt at times we didn't discuss the important realities of society and one thing that I've aimed to do whilst I've grown up and whilst I'm now a director is to show um, the fringe sides of society, to show the lesser known aspects of society uh, and to really, really investigate some of the social problems that we face uh, not just in the UK, but within my own community back home in India, within communities in, in Africa. Um, and to really try and show and use cinema as a tool for social change, as well as entertainment, of course. Because uh, at the end of the day, films are here to entertain. So for me, it's a mixture of entertainment and social change. Um, as long as we can maybe try and combine both, I think that's what cinema's optimum use is for. And in an age of streaming, metaverse and artificial intelligence, how do you see the future for cinema? <laughs> um, well, the, the optimist in me says that it's, it's now opened up many different avenues for us as directors uh, to show our work, to showcase our work, a new world for us to work uh, within. The pessimist says that, you know, AI is, is single-handedly one of the biggest threats, I think, to, to, all, to all industries uh, and, and ours as well. I think automation uh, will possess a problem. But at the end of the day, I think, uh, as I was having a conversation the other day, um, I don't think AI or the metaverse or anything can triumph the human mind. I don't think it can get better. Um, and I don't think it can get as creative and as emotional. So as long as we strive to create really personal, really emotional, really strong pieces, I don't think uh, anything will stand in our way and content will always prevail. And for independent filmmakers, do you think the hybrid model, so screening in theatres, streaming online and festivals, is bringing more benefits or losses? Uh, I think it's it's a bit of a, a mixture, you know. I've I've never dealt with the theatrical model too much because I've predominantly made only shorts. My experience from the theatrical model is more from a viewership point of view of going to the cinema and watching films. 
And I, I think I voice a lot of the people in the industry when I say that we love going to the cinema. We love going. Uh, there's nothing like going to the cinema and you know grabbing a popcorn and 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 watching films with your loved ones or even by yourself. So I think eventually I would like to see theaters more filled. I'd like to see more engagement in the cinema. Um, it is good that content is moved online as well because they are making more, which is which is obviously good. Uh, it creates more jobs, creates creates more opportunities. But yeah, I'd I'd like to see the parity a bit closer between the two, and I really wish um, that the cinema had its its prime as as it used to, and we can continue to kind of find a way to do both. And lastly, do you have any new work in development that you'd like to share? Yeah, um, again, struggling to find producers slash funders. Anyone listening to this, if you want to help a fellow guy out, um, please do. Um, yeah, I'm working on a feature script for a film called Pursuit, which is about a transgender um, woman who is trying to get a better life and about her having one day... Uh, to find a long lost son and then escape the world so that that's one of the main things that i'm well for a lack of a better word pursuing at the moment um but yeah it's 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 that's the main thing as well as trying to co-write with my wife once again who wrote solipsism with me uh to try and convert solipsism into a feature because it was a very uh interesting and intriguing concept and we'd like to uh, bring it you know um, back to life and uh, yeah um, we we hope to continue to create more and more stuff thank you very much thanks thank you for the award once again and uh, i hope i've not bored anyone too much thank you